Hello guys, welcome back to another, ep another episode. Today we'll be creating a subsystem operating system for my dad's business. And I'm going to do it through portableapps.com. So first, I, I already have portable apps on this. This is what it looks like. Just start it up. And I have all of my portable apps I want already installed. And you could easily update them. This is an example of updating Oprah browser, for example. Oh, switching. It's installing. It's installing a that's a couple pad as a notepad editor. So So I already have portable apps and it looks like this, but my dad's business isn't going to need all of these, so I'm going to create a virtual machine and actually I already have a virtual machine. Just going to add the files, add the installer and create it for him. So in this I'm going to be using Windows 7 Gold, doesn't matter. Again, it, this is actually Windows. Hey, I'm, I'm recording. recording. This is Sorry. And you I'm recording. Wait, be right back. Okay, I'm back on. Sorry about that. Sorry to interrupt, but this is important. Um, remind me later. I don't want to update. Okay, so right now we're using Home Network Trusted. Windows Gold, that's operating system I'm using. Cursor is gold, the start menu isn't. Folder icons on. And documents next. And don't create a home. No. Whatever. So now what we're going to do is first I have to check if this has. No, it doesn't. I have to install VMware tools. Uh, maybe it already is. No, I yeah, I do have internet access, so I can just go to portable apps. Sorry, portable apps. Download now. You could also buy a flash drive, but that's $30. But they give you a pretty nice flash drive. It could hold probably every single portable apps thing on it. And you could see if we want to save it to that. 
I have to close the door very quick. Be right back. Okay. So now we're going to just install custom location. Subsystem. Okay, open. Next. Install. And finish. Okay, so this is what portable apps looks like. This is a menu. Oh. I have to do this first. So now I'm going to find features that my dad and mom might be able, and other clients, can use on portable apps. First thing, a plain text editor would be nice. Notepad++, that's coding, I don't need that. I think that's all development. Yeah. Education, we don't need. Maybe I'll throw on quick game of 2048. Hmm, why not? Man, Tetris. Now we're going to graphics of pictures. We don't need anything for editing pictures. Now when it comes to internet, we do need some stuff for internet. We need FileZilla, FTP client. We can definitely use portable Google Chrome. Okay, I'm trying to find which one's smaller. Yeah, Google Chrome is. And Firefox and Oprah browser. We're gonna use all of those for Video downloader, we just need that to be client. So everything's good in there. Music and audio. We don't need anything here. In office, we need a note. Um, LibreOffice. No, we don't need that. Uh, we do, but hmm. yeah, LibreOffice. And PDF editor and viewer. Those are main tools that we would need. We're going to add in a security thing. Um, secure data eraser. And a yeah, browser hijacker. Check. Plus, claim win. Clam win. Antivirus. Um, we need remote server, 7-zip, 4 files. We, um, crystal disk, disk health, and disk mark we could use. CPUZ we could use. Disk cleaner we could use. 
file Voyager we could definitely use. And maybe you know, portable Java we don't need. Manager, I guess we could get that. Team viewer, we uh, team viewer, we could use. next. So now you can see we're only getting 22 applications, which is pretty decent. Plus we have one game, so basically 21. Two X clients, remote clients, that can come in useful. So now we're going to wait for that. In the meantime, I'm going to probably check my Twitch or something on the other screen, so. Oh, this is great. Somebody's desperate for staff on this. How did they get it? I'm going to say. Staff on, he's a staff on my server, so. Uh, the Thunder Lord YT. There. Network administrator. Are you kidding me? Guys, look, he responded, okay. He's just like, okay. Oh, that's great. Ow, I just hit the side of my arm. So now you have to write some installers, and these will just install it to the Portal Labs directory. Right now, we only have that much used, which isn't that much. Even if it's like 2 gigabytes, I, I'm trying to keep it under 2 gigabytes. Again, it's technically a subsystem. Or operating system subsystem, so I'm trying to keep it as low as I can. This one here is going to make it go up a lot. So right now, 800.
I'm recording. Oh, thanks. I'll put that with your other one over here. Okay. I just want you to see. Come. Very glad. I'm eating breakfast. I'm making, see here, okay. it's installing the portable applications <laughs> for, so a team viewer, this is all going to be in TMB sub system. I'm also YouTubing it so other people can learn how to right. do it. So I'll put this with you. Isn't that great? Yeah. 40 bucks more. Thanks. Yeah, I got 40 bucks. 40 bucks is like a. Isn't a buck like an elk? Buck. No. What's a buck? I think it's like an animal. Images. Yeah, I got 40 bucks. No, my dad meant dollars, but I got 40 bucks. That's great. <laughs> so you can see now it's done. We have LibreOffice. Base. Calc. Draw. Think. In base, you get open files. Oh, database. Nice. X out. <laughs> so this is it. This is a subsystem. Office. Library Office Writer is yeah. Board, basically. So all of these are portable applications. And again, we're going to check the total size of this. One point, okay, under two gigabytes, I'm happy with that. Um, so let's see, development, we got at Acopad. Here we have T048 and T3. What's T3? Oh, are you kidding me? No. Oh, that's OP. 3D Tetris. They weren't lying. Wait, is it actually like moving downwards? It is. so cool. 3D Tetris. I want to try and clear this row. That's so cool. I'm going to conserve this one for later. Just put it down and yeah. Wow. It tells you where it's going to go. 3D Tetris. Are you kidding me? Guess what? That's a first. Is it gonna like break any? Oh no, there's a space in between. Oh, I messed up. Nice. Game over. That's great. That is so cool. And again, 204. I played this again in. There, I did a video on how it works portably. No, I did a video on AI. I guess we're going to do some. I'm doing some now just to get some points. But you can see. My hands are off and it's still going. And now remote sessions are running. So this is actually AI. Oh, I just, okay. So it's actually going by itself. Yeah, 2048. Nice waste of time. Internet, you have FileZilla client, which, yeah, latest one. You could use this to connect to a server, and which my mom and dad have a. Follows a little server that I set up for them. 
you have Oprah browser, you have Google Chrome, Oprah. So yeah, it works pretty good. What is it? Is he okay? Is he okay? Why is he boxing? Why is okay? Not even gonna ask, but okay, that works pretty good. Mozilla Firefox, portable Firefox. And that's working good. It has a new UI on it, which is nice. Close tabs. Google Chrome, let's check if that works. Yeah, Google Chrome, look at that. Google Chrome works. Filezilla, we tested. Office applications, we have all of that. We have a PDF editor. That's so cool. We can attach sounds and files. Of wow, that's nice. Security, you have an antivirus, a secure file eraser, and a hijack this test. I accept. You could fix things with your browser. So that's working good. Eraser, you could just add applications and erase them like a band wave, which is nice. In here, okay, and claim one portable antivirus. Would you like to download it? Can't do that for some reason, probably just because of this computer. I can just update this. This is an example of updating applications. All you have to do is open up portable apps, and if it has an update, you could update it. Everyone's going to be able to view this, but only I will have access to change what's inside of this folder. But other people can copy it onto their computer, so that's how that's going to work. Um, and utilities. 7-zip, let's test this. 7-zip works pretty good, yeah. Let's do tools benchmark. Yeah, that's pretty good. And file voyager, I want to test with this. And the last thing we'll test with is team viewer. So you can see you can change the files. TMB subsystem. You can see what's inside or what it actually looks like. So that's working good. I wonder if it would keep the gold theme. If it does, that would be interesting. Key directory. Yeah, you can see files. That's nice. Actually, I'm going to just add this here for now. You have Team Viewer. I'm going to see if this works. I'm going to just team viewer to my own computer. Or maybe I'll team viewer to the virtual machine. Team viewer. Oh, wait. Team viewer 13 came out. This is team viewer 12. This is team viewer 13. So I'm going to go to connections. I'm going to, yeah, here. My partner ID is three. Jonathan, come in. Okay, wait. Audio is going to be cut.
really wanted me to do something when I'm done, so. 306 7 4 0 2 8 7. Connect. It's going to ask for a pin 6687. And you can see we're now connected with our team viewer. You could tell Windows 10 look to this computer here. And we know that because if I go on clock, it's going to be there too. We open Recycle Bin. We go on our virtual machine. Recycle Bin's open. So TeamViewer is working great. That's good. We just end session. And then X out TeamViewer. TeamViewer, X out. So TeamViewer is working good. So if my dad wanted to help another client, he could. So all the applications are installed. Total size, again is 1.69 or 1.60. What we're going to do now is I'm going to do a copy of this. So control C, control V. I'm going to zip this copy up. Alright, it's working. Yeah, copy. I'm going to again put this in seven zip and make it a um seven um seven zip file dot seven z so that it's super compressed. Pretty quick to copy over, which is pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go in. Okay, wait. I'm going to open 7-zip. I'm going to actually, I'm going to use 7-zip in order to zip up the files. I just said I was going to, so. <laughs> um, computer. This C-disk, users, Windows Gold, desktop. TMZ subsystem, 7-zip, add to archive. We're going to set this to normal. It's good. And okay. Now you can see we're starting to get this file right here. It's a, set, it's a temporary file. And it's going to copy over. So we're going to wait for that. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to test something. Computer cleaner. Oh, and also, do not shake. It's so cool that the resolution stays. Oh, the bottle's starting to freeze. This is good. That's why liquid nitrogen cooling is so good. That's so cool. I shouldn't have, oh, I'm putting it sideways. Can I put it upside down? Yeah. Okay, guys. Watch and learn. Here's the deal. Can, like, can you see my decks? Here? Okay, about here. I turn it upside down as well. You see the liquid nitrogen? It's freezing the desk. Okay. What? I'm still recording. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah, that's great. Wait, let me do the math. Yeah, that's good.
Mom, do you know how warm this can recording? is? Yes, I am. Well, I want to Wait, close I the window. See. It's oh, still loading, so you guys haven't missed anything. Close, close the window. Half the way, half the way. More than two more. No, this is good. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Still in different languages, I guess. Nice. It's like Discord kind of now. Can you like talk to people? Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, you can talk to people. Hi. Hello, baby. Let's see if he responds. You there? I'm gonna look. I'm gonna see if he did anything. I guess. Be right back. I can't, I'm recording stuff. So. I'm waiting for your file to extract. I guess I could speed it up a little. He left his own server. Okay, I'm gonna just switch back to this. So it might take a while to compress, but after we compress it, moving it over to another computer is gonna be way quicker. Um, I'm gonna make it faster, hopefully. I'm gonna X out of this. No. Now we just have this running. Okay, net is moved on two zero four eight now. But again, also thanks to Creative Windows 10 Gold for having this operating system. It's really cool. Lapse time, eight minutes. You better go quicker than that. It's moving but slowly. What's the speed it's doing? Oh, one megabyte per second. <laughs> Never mind, two. So now it's doing clean room. CPU Z, this is what they could use to test. And this one's for testing hard drive. Disk mark is for hard drive. Yep. File Voyager in general we'll use. File Explorer, I like to use it. But if you install most applications, you have a setup like this. What's Atomic Tanks? Let's play that in the Um, 
I'm gonna start and install it. Okay. So I uninstalled the application, I want to reinstall it. <laughs> Added a play computer game. This is great. Now it's doing files that way. I want atomic tanks next. Let's see how quick does that take. And it's done. If I go in here, games, atomic tanks. Now, hopefully, it boots up. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Maybe I'll go and go. play as ha, nail okay <laughs> So that's an example of portable apps. That is the game Atomic Tanks, and you can get it at portableapps.com, I think. Uh, okay. It's like an Excel then. That's interesting. Chrome Child. That's interesting. Yeah, it's almost done. Stop it. Stop it. Somebody keeps on knocking or something. Alright, Jocelyn's going to have just It's probably mom. What? What? I have an idea how I just went over my town. What? Wait. My bad. Okay. 
it's troll time. Can you run me, my brother? I didn't know liquid nitrogen tastes bad. Tastes like toxins, up. Yeah. It smells like them too. Okay. Now you guys know how much I like to play with a duster with. Okay, that's cool. Now it's doing Oprah browser. Shouldn't take that long. It says keep out of the mouths of children. That's pretty good. No. Okay, back to the garden um, scene mode. John Cena's theme. It's almost done. Um, didn't compress it by that much. Well, it's only the temp file. So, probably gonna compress it more. Nitrogen. Always a lot of fun to play with. I think this is it. Yeah, 7 zip file. Properties. Look at that. Three times less. So this is only about 512 megabytes. We're going to rename it. Done. And we're going to just drag it. No, no we can't. I'm trying to install VM tables. Wait, I'm going to try and send it to my computer then. Yeah, that's what Joseph. I'm going to just put it on the desktop. Dad, wait, come. I'm done creating it. I put it in 7 zip. What? The TMB subsystem. I put it in 7 zip and it's only 437 gigabytes. Try and fix it. Okay. I wonder if we ever try it in this. Does that handle 3.0? Yes. Wait. Okay, you ready? This PC, what is it? That would be the E, e drive, wouldn't it? Mm -mm. Did you install it? No, it's right here. So that would be the E drive. Right? Mm -mm. Well, what's the E drive? It was this hard drive. No, E drive is I put in my old hard drive in. Oh. So that's what that is. I have the file I have right here. Well, where's the USB? I have to. Um, 
So now I'm going to delete the copy, and the USB is right there. No, where is it in the computer? Is it not showing up? It's not it? showing up as a drive. Sorry, guys, we're dealing with a corrupt drive here. F. This is it. See, it doesn't even show it. I'm going to try with Linux. Now it's not responding. Yeah, try it with that. What you did with the other one. Try Linux. I, I helped fix my dad's hard drive with Linux. See, this is what happens, Dad. Look, it crashed. My okay. Explorer crashed. Desktop is down. See? That's what happens when you try to open corrupted flash drive. Keep it's going to start back up. Okay. That other thing. Okay. I'm going to have to do like a shared folder. Can I have a snapshot of this? Okay. I'm going to shut down. Ah, I shouldn't have done that. Anyways, um... Oh, that's not good. Start Windows normal. Welcome to Windows 7. Okay. I was playing dramatic music. No. Okay. There should be like a shirt folder or something. Yeah, I'm trying to get this file off of this computer. I'm gonna like upload it to a cloud or something. The file. This right here. Is there any number of people with pictures? Not yet. <coughs> I I have so, to get that. I just worked on it. I'm gonna try make it. Okay, I could just do. Mega millions? No, I'm kidding. No, that's not it. I think it's MC. Okay. I'll try it. the clock it goes over everything you're gonna have to like move it to see something and you can't even move it I think you could like click there and you can exit this one there the clock's gone again I can't open mega so what I can do is I can go in here I'm gonna start up this uh, do Google Chrome X out That's it. Yeah. 
here it is. Now I'm going to file upload desktop. And I just need to upload this file that I just built. There. And then it's going to go to my mega folder that I'm going to download it. This is good. So that's all for this episode. After this, I, I can just distribute it to any computer I want. And I have my own subsystem now. So please clap. No, I'm kidding. You don't have to. So um, I'm going to end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, if you found this useful, even the portable apps part of it, hit that like button, please. That helps a lot. Bye.